Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you a little bit about provision, or specifically God's provision. Every day I take two five gallon buckets and I walk from the pond behind me to where I'm sitting right now in my garden. And uh, it's not easy. I have to walk through mud and everything else and uh, I have to fill up the five gallon buckets and walk with them in my hands back to the garden. And it's a trip, like there's cert several trips uh, anywhere from, depending on how heavily I'm watering my plants, anywhere from like six to 25 trips. So it's not an easy task, but every time I'm doing it, one, I'm thinking about being on Little House on the Prairie and, <laughs> and how far back in time I feel like I've gone, but in a good way. And uh, two, I'm always thinking about God's provision. I'm thinking about the fact that we have this pond that is spring fed, that he has provided for us that is still filled with water despite us being a week now without rain and in the 90s I think for that entire week as well but I have this water that I can use on the property to water the plants that are growing our food and we have tons of buds on the butternut squash and the cucumber there's at least seven I want to say I just counted a new one seven tomatoes that are growing now there's peppers galore growing, and of course all the herbs are doing great too. Um, and actually even the watermelons are getting buds on them, which from what I've heard, it's pretty hard to grow watermelon in Oklahoma, but I figured I may as well give it a try because the kids love watermelon. But um, it's one of those things where I think about God and all he provides to people without us even needing all the extras of what we have nowadays. Um, being on this property, we have really honestly kind of taken a step back in time in the sense that we're very much so reliant on what God has given us on this property and then also what God provides us through nature and uh, there's things that my husband and I have talked about um, even with like building a deck out in front of our uh, camper there's our campers kind of up on a hill and it kind of dips down a little bit and we thought hey we could build a build a deck off of that and we've even felt like you know what we have so many juniper trees on this property um, smaller ones too that we can use those as posts for our deck instead of having to go buy more lumber and things like that and just really kind of working with God and what he has provided with us on this property um, and it just amazes me how much even though my husband and I have been farming since 2014 how much we have overlooked how much God provides naturally and when I say that, I mean through nature and through the animals, through the plants, through the rain, everything like that. There's so much that God provides us that I feel like we overlook while we are living in a civilized society. And uh, it's something that um, even though, like I said, we have been farming since 2014 and I, I know how much the rain means to agriculture and farming and, and everything and anything living relies on water and rain. But even thinking about now how that water works with flowing down our mountain into a creek, which that creek now, if you look at one of my other videos, I talk about how we're actually pumping water out of that creek to take showers in. But that creek also still runs into this pond that I'm watering my plants with. And it, it's one of those things that when we take a step outside of civilized society and we go out into the outdoors and out into the world, we really have that time to think about what God has given us. And it's and it's one of those reasons why I feel like there's so many times in the Bible you have like Jesus, Elijah, and Noah on the ark where they spend 40 days in the wilderness. And, um, and so many times you hear of other figures in the Bible going out into the wilderness and uh, to, to be closer to God. And uh, I feel like that's so relevant. And I feel like that's something that so many people nowadays are missing. Um, now, yes, it's absolutely wonderful and nice to go into a church and worship and praise and pray and, and talk with others and fellowship and stuff like that, but there's something completely different about coming out into nature, coming out into God's, truly God's creation, and just spending that time with Him. And we're going on pretty close to 40 days, actually, out here uh, in the wilderness <laughs> ourselves. Um, now, yes, we do still have like some of the comforts of obviously like a camper and things like that, but to be able to see how much God provides in one place and in one space, and there's even more that JT and I have talked about with working towards that I'll discuss in future videos and release later, but 
I want everybody to take time to think about not only God's provision in the way of providing for you in the sense of um, financially or um, of healing, things like that. Um, there's, there's so much, again, of the world that we can be thankful for him and, and see his provision in. But I want you to think about, too, how your life, if something happened and you had to go out into the wilderness, think about the way God would provide for you then. And think about all the things in nature. And no matter where you're at, you know, whether you're at the North Pole or all the way down south, you know, things like that. But think about how in the area that you're in, look and take the time to see how much God provides outside of just the worldly things. Think about how the trees and, and the shade and how they work with the growth and how the roots, you know, work with the earth and let the, you know, the microbiome of the earth and everything, like everything is tied in together. But yet those things, the trees, the, the creeks, the rivers, the whatever, they all can provide for you um, in a time where you do decide, you know what, I, I want to get out in the wilderness or something like that. And I know this lifestyle that we're living isn't for everybody, but you guys, you got to think about the nature side of God. You got to think about the Eden. Think about like when I'm out here, this feels like Eden. And, and I know we're not in the, the Garden of Eden or anything like that, but it's beautiful, it's calming, it's peaceful. Um, I see God in every single part of this property from the insects to the trees. And there's nothing that I can't look at and think of how God has provided a resource for me or has provided even just beauty. Like, there, you know, there's flowers here and stuff we can't eat but the beauty makes me happy and the beauty brings my girls joy to see all these flowers that are just insane colors and um, I want you to think about that think about God's provision not only in your in your financial or your health or your wealth or anything like that but think about God's provision in the natural think about God's provision that if you ever do decide to start a homestead of your own or anything like that how he's already worked it out for you he's already got it set up and taken care of and that there's nothing that we need that God hasn't already made. We just have to be willing to look for it and find it and realize that his provision is from the soil to the air and everywhere in between. And we just have to really be mindful of that. And I, I, I would love for more people to be able to experience what I'm experiencing, but... Um, just even if you are in like a city or anything like that, if you ever go to a park or anything, just take that time to see God's provision in even the grass. Um, because it's it's there, guys. There's everything has a meaning and a purpose and a reason behind it. God wouldn't have created it if it didn't have a purpose. And uh, it's, been a, it's been an incredible blessing to be out here. Um, and like I said, I hope more people are able to do this as well. But... Um, next time you're in a park or you're outside if you do have a yard if you're outside in your yard think about the things that God has provided through the earth that uh, make you happy bring you joy could be useful to you <laughs> I mean if you got a tree you got lumber in your yard already but uh, you know just just think about those things and uh, think about God's provision guys no matter what uh, part of your life you're in what aspect of your life uh, you're in right now know that God has uh, has everything provided for you and you just have to be willing to open your eyes and see it. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.